I have breaking space news. A brand new research paper was recently published, and it suggests that Betelgeuse is about to go supernova, or more accurately, it has already gone supernova, and we will be able to see it with our own eyes in the next few decades, not the next hundred thousand years or million years like previously thought. So let me explain. Betelgeuse has been the interest of space enthusiasts and astronomers for quite some time. It's the tenth brightest star in our night sky and is part of the Orion constellation. This supergiant star has been in the news lately due to its brightening and dimming being observed by astronomers. This massive variation in brightness has given scientists pause, making them wonder exactly what's going on with the star. Recently, a research paper came out suggesting that Betelgeuse let out a giant coronal mass ejection, leading to a dust cloud temporarily forming around the star. It was thought that the cloud was causing a mass fluctuation in its brightness, but a new and more recent research paper suggests that this variation in brightness is due to the supergiant star being in its very late stages of life, right before it goes supernova. If these findings turn out to be true after the peer review, that means two things. 1. In the next 10 to 100 years, within our lifetimes, we'll be able to see a supernova in the night sky with our naked eye, changing our view of the universe forever. No telescope will be needed to see it, it could even be bright enough to see during the daytime, even on the brightest of days. The second thing it means is that Betelgeuse has actually already gone supernova. Since the star is over 600 light years away, if we see the signatures of light from the supernova here on Earth in less than 100 years, that means that the star exploded over 500 years ago. It has been long observed that Betelgeuse goes through periods of brightening and dimming, and it happens at fairly regular intervals. This is because the star is constantly shrinking and expanding, every star, including our own, survives from a delicate balance from gravity pulling inwards towards the core and fusion pushing outwards. If this balance is ever disrupted, that can cause the star to either expand, shrink, or even collapse. As a star ages, its hydrogen fuel source at its core gets completely used up. In order to survive, the star must begin to fuse heavier elements together. Betelgeuse is thought to be in its carbon fusing stage, where its core is fusing carbon elements together to make even heavier elements like neon and magnesium. While stars can fuse hydrogen for billions of years and helium for millions of years, once a star like Betelgeuse gets to its carbon fusion stage, it can only sustain that for hundreds of years. This is why scientists believe that we could see the Betelgeuse supernova in our lifetime. Now again, this paper still hasn't been peer-reviewed, so it could be somewhat incorrect. So take all these findings with a grain of salt. But if true, this is an absolutely incredible opportunity for us to witness one of the universe's most powerful and beautiful events. The last time humanity was able to witness a supernova from Earth was back in the 1600s, and again, we may get a chance to see this in our lifetimes. Not only that, but this will give scientists just an extremely rare opportunity to observe the supernova directly as it's happening, to observe the neutron star that it left behind and have the chance to unlock mysteries of the universe we've only been able to speculate about previously. When more news about this research paper on Betelgeuse comes out, I will be sure to update you. But until then, let's cross our fingers that we'll soon be able to look up in the night sky and have an awe-inspiring view of the cosmos.